If you want to hear 78s the way they should be, visit ade42.blogspot.com. thousand years those white cliffs of Dover stood as a symbol of a land that was trodden only by the feet that owned it. But in May 1940, that sanctity was gravely menaced. Norway, Holland, Belgium overrun, France reeling under heavy blows. Britain stood alone and unarmed, except for a mighty spirit of defiance. Then Eden spoke. Since the war began, the government have received countless inquiries from all over the kingdom, from men of all ages, who wish to do something for the defense of their country. Well, now is your opportunity. The name of the new force, which is now to be raised, will be the Local Defense Volunteer. This name describes its duties in three words. When on duty, you will form part of the armed forces. And your period of service will be for the duration of the war. In order to volunteer, what you have to do is to give in your name at your local police station. What time do police stations close? You ought to know. They don't. Of course. <laughs> I was a corporal in the last war, Dawson. Uh, what will you? Sergeant Major, my lord. Oh. Well, never mind. Mix yourself a drink and let's get along. I tell you, Eaton has done things that nobody else could have done. I tell you, he hasn't. I tell you, he has. Well, stop arguing, boys, and have one in the house and let's go. What? I said, have one in the house. You're right. Eden has done things nobody else could have done. Mine's a bitter. Mine's a pint. And so from north, south, east, and west they came. Fat men, thin men, short men, tall men, men of the contemptible little army, the men of Mons and the Marne and Luce. In every city and town and from every village, street, and country lane, they fell in with great-hearted devotion. Men who fought a war to end all war came to stand again at the gates of hell. Don't old soldiers ever die? No, they never die. <clears throat> after you, Cecil. No, after you, Claude. Just too bad for the Hun if he puts his foot down where the village smithy stands. He'll get trodden on. Hey, look out, smithy, you're standing on somebody right now. Thanks. And so they all joined up again. The Smith, the Browns, the Greens, the Whites and the Robinsons. The Mackintosh from Achtomachti. The Joneses from Minimbu, look you, whatever and the fighting Finnegans from Portadown County Armour. Each evening stiff and start, up and down the street I march. I'm guarding the home of the home guard, guarding the home guard home. All day long, steady and strong, doing what I'm told and I can't go wrong. All the ladies are fond of me, but last night one of them gave a shout when she saw me pulling my bayonet out while guarding the home guard home. Now here's an example of street fighting. Home Guard is called on for a counterattack to relieve a hard-pressed platoon. I don't think we can get this down, but DR, the road's completely impossible. I'm going to send it down by one of Lee's uh, skating boys. And so the skating section goes into action, and that means action. When the Home Guard get skates on, they do things Sonia Heaney never dreamt of. Guard has been greatly honoured by being allotted the duty of mounting guard at Buckingham Palace. 
This great privilege accorded to the first county of London, Westminster Battalion, is shared in spirit by the whole of the greatest volunteer army the world has ever known. His Majesty himself turned out to watch the ceremony when the spare time men took over from the Scots Guards. The King is still in London, in London, in London, and he would be in London town if London Bridge was falling down. He's got a house in London, in London, in London, and there within the palace yard the soldiers of the King stand guard. Strike up the music, roll up the drums, and let all the trumpets play. Tell all the world we're facing the music, here we all are and here we all stay. The king is still in London, in London, in London. Like Mr. Jones and Mr. Brown, the king.